Right, today's task, um, after lifting the boards up yesterday, we're going to get some of these joists out. Um, little elephant in the room is these two acro props here that I've got pushing down on, on some of these joists, holding the ceiling, uh, uh, ceiling joists up. Now, I know because I've shuffled them about and moved them, even when I take them out, the ceiling joists, you know, they barely move really. Um, but I want to keep them supported. So I think what I'm going to do, I've got a little scaffold tower. Um, I'm going to put that under here. And then we'll see if we can um, put the acro props off the scaffold tower. And keep those ceiling joists supported. And then we can get these out of the way. Uh, I've got a bit of tidying up to do here, a bit of soil from digging the floor out and the uh, rotten joist that fell down yesterday. Bits and pieces. So we're going to get that done first, get the scaffold tower in here, get that erected, and then we'll see, you know, see where we are from there. Um, if we can get all that done and get the joist supported, then we can start taking these, uh, these exposed joists out. Um, maybe get one of the new ones sort of cut and roughly lifted into place and we'll just see see how that sits and, uh, and go from there. Right, so um, <clears throat> got a couple of acro props, and they will and they should reach. Um, just check them; they will reach. Um, they aren't fully extended as I thought they were. But what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a batten across the trestle, a wooden batten, one of the ones that we took out of the stud walls, and I'm going to put one, as I have done, on the other acros under the uh, under the ends of the joists. Um, that's just going to take uh, I'm what, about eight centimeters so out of it as well. So it'll it'll mean that it's uh, one uh, adjustment further down, so it's not as um, not as stressed. It's going to be a bit of a faff doing it on my own, holding things up and adjusting stuff and one thing and another. But hopefully we'll get it done. Um, I should really get a couple of screws and just screw the upper button to the underside of the uh, joist, and then I won't have to faff about with that. Um, that'd be too easy, wouldn't it, really? So we'll crack on, see how we get on. Just got that done. Um, Got that central board take up now that the uh, the other acro props are on, so we'll get that out of the way and um, then we'll have a look at taking a few of these joists out. Right, just got to bring in here. Um, so we've got the end of this joist fully exposed now, and um, I mean we knew it was rotten. Uh, we didn't really know how far, but it's clearly it's going in a good meter or so on the wall. Um, it's almost kind of in two at this end here. I'm going to cut through with a chainsaw just this side or just inside of the upright just to take this end off A because I was going to do it anyway and it's rotten uh, B 
that's going to give me then access to drop um, one of the new joists in because we know this is too high uh, to keep the floor level as it is anyway but if I can take this out um, you know make the recesses uh, appropriate for the new joist roughly then I can drop one in um, and kind of get it so it's more or less level with the existing joists because we know they're somewhere near um, and then we can kind of go from there really uh, it's, uh, it's a bit of a um, you know I'm debating really whether to keep this long long joist or not it's clearly not going to be in very good condition uh, uh, not that it matters so much because it's not going to be structural um, but it might cause more problems than you know than it solves. It doesn't really solve any problems, but um, it might cause more leaving it and then taking it out. So we'll see. We'll see anyway. I'll get this end chopped off. Stay where you are, and um, we'll go from there. Uh, you probably saw the two pieces <laughs> um, clearly been uh, it's clearly been well if you can see all these debris it's obviously m mice or rats uh, made a nice little nest in the end bless them um, it's just nothing nothing left of it see the nothing left of it at all but we knew that There's actually a board underneath, in between this joist and the upright, um, 30-40 centimetre board, um, which is going to be ideal actually, it's going to help me sit the, um, sit the, uh, the new joist on, so let's see if we can get on with that. So obviously what I'm doing, I'm building up my level and I just thought out of curiosity, I'm going to sit it on top of this joist um, and see roughly where things are and uh, <laughs> sorry, disturbing noises from the level of the wall uh, yeah, obviously as I'm following the lays around um, the joist top on that wall and the one next to it they're pretty much bang on and same at this side so it's surprising really as um, kind of outline out of shape warped rotten that these joists are floorboards etc 
it just shows it's not far away at all. Now I'm not aiming for perfection. Um, I'd like to be somewhere near. But anyway, this is going to give me um, a guide, obviously. Put this. I can measure from the top of that laser line there down um, 22 and a half uh, centimetres, which is obviously the depth of the joist. So I can clear out below enough so I can slot that in. And the same on this side. Um, I know I've got plenty of clearance here. And then we can um, perfectly measure it as well. I've done it roughly. I mean, clearly these are six meter. I know it's no more than we don't need any more than five and a half. So we've got plenty long enough. Um, but obviously we'll double check again, make sure we get um, exactly exactly what we need. We want at least thirty centimeters into the wall, I think. Uh, and then um, yeah, we're going to have to uh, address this hole in the wall before we put one in on this end, I think. Um, obviously the end of the joist was in there before. Um, clearly it's not in there now and it's not going back in there, so we are going to have to backfill it, you know, build it up flush. I've, I've got uh, plenty of stones kicking around, so we'll have uh, my first little bit of uh, rebuilding on the walls, uh, and then we'll drop the joist in uh, a little bit more permanent and uh, go from there So we are around 5.05 um, to the back of each pocket. Um, need to go back a little bit further. I've got about 25 centimetres at this side, about 20 at the other, so I certainly need to go another 5, five centimetres so that way. Uh, 5 to 10, 5 here. So we're looking about 5.2. The new the room width was between 4.6 4.7 so it kind of tallies up. Uh, so we're good to go. So if I cut the joist at 5.2, won't go in at the moment. <laughs> it's slightly too long. Um, yeah, let's take a little bit more out. Um, but we're not far away. Not far away at all. I've gone down enough um, comfortably couple of centimetres to spare um, but I think what I'll probably do is end up putting a I don't know whether to put a little um, lime mortar slither in a little slab um, or something else uh, just to uh, just to get it spot on don't know we'll see Plenty to do before we uh, we do that anyway, but uh, yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> All right, we're going to start today by just clearing out this hole a bit so we've got it back to um, you know we've got rid of the loose stuff 
so we can see what we've got and what we need to rebuild. Um, we've been got some hydraulic lime this morning, some sharp sand. Um, we're going to go with hydraulic lime for this wall because of its um, exposure to the sort of damp ground at the back. You know, hydraulic lime apparently you know it is re more recommended for either exposed or damp conditions etc. Um, rebuilding damp walls, retaining wall cellars, stuff like that. So um, <clears throat> that's going to be appropriate for this. We should probably use some natural hydraulic lime for pointing and one thing and another. Um, but for this particular section, I think we'll go with the hydraulic lime. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Uh, it's not a huge area, obviously. And if it doesn't work out, we can kind of do it again. Um, obviously, I don't want to. So I've had a good read up this morning, and, and I think that's what we need to do. Uh, so we'll get it cleared out and um, see what we've got. I'll go to my uh, stone store next door, and um, I think initially at the back it's just going to be a question of backfilling it. Really, make sure that it, the voids are, are full, and then obviously. As we get to the uh, you know the edge of the wall, the face of the wall, then we'll need to put in something um, something more uh, befitting. So we'll crack on, see how we uh, see how we go.
Right, what we're going to do now, um, I'm going to bring the joists out one by one and I'm going to cut them down to around 5.2 metres, which is roughly what we need um, to allow 25-30 centimetres at each end into the wall. Um, I'm going to cut them all now rather than do them one by one as I'm doing it. I need to get the joists out of the house so that I can, I can obviously get the rest of the boards up but before I can put any joists back in I need to drop down the long central beam that goes from the back of the house to the front because um, if I put the new joists on top of it they're going to sit 10 centimetres higher than what uh, the original floor level was which is not what we want. So we're going to get them cut, I hope we get them cut this afternoon, a um, little bit unorthodox doing them all at once, you know it's kind of you know, ordinarily you cut them one by one and make sure every measurement's correct and one thing. But we know the wall is is is, is uniform all the way down, so they're all going to be within a couple of centimetres the same way. Um, going to cut them with a chop saw. Again, a little bit unorthodox, but because I'm going to have to cut it um, on one side, turn it over, do the other, because the depth of the cut the chop saw um, won't go through the beams as the 10 uh, 10 centimetres, 100 mil. Um, it's going to be the easiest way of doing it. So we'll get on with that and um, yeah, hopefully we'll get them done this afternoon. Some of these beams we're going to cut directly in half and they're going to go in the bar room. Um, the room width is about 2.3, um, cut these in half at 3 metres and that will give us plenty of leeway. We might have to cut them down a little bit at a later date but we um, cut them in half now and then uh, sit them inside out of the way. They're um, easy to move so we'll have to move them at a later date when we need to get the floor up but for now we'll cut them and put them in there and they're out of the way. So we made the cardinal sin of letting both batteries run down. Um, yeah, so I'll ask we do something else for an hour. Uh, or maybe I need to chip out a little bit more of the walls for the first beam. I can actually put that in because um, I've obviously chopped the end off the main front to front to back the long beam downstairs so I can slot that first one in but I need to put another sort of five centimetres or so out of each each recess on each wall so we'll go downstairs and we'll do that it's a bit cooler down there as well today 30 degrees so it's quite hot um, so we'll go back in the dungeon and uh, do that and uh, keep cool while we're at it
Right, that's got that first beam in. Um, it's all rough for the time being. Just drop it in, we'll probably um, pop it back out at some point. Um, it's a good starting uh, a starting point. Um, I'll just chop it down another seven or eight centimetres, a little bit long. I think the very end of this room is probably the narrowest it is. Only deviates by about 10 centimetres, but of course, um, we cut it too long, didn't we? So. But uh, just a few minutes just to take the end off, so nothing drastic. Um, I think you can just about see on the camera, I put the level on just to see where we are. The far end is pretty much perfect. Um, and as we get to this side, I think you can just see the level line. It's about 30 mil above um, where the joist sits. So we're just gonna have to raise it a little bit at this end. Um, I put the manual level on just to kind of confirm really, not that I doubt the laser level, but uh, you know, it's um, it's just an additional kind of uh, confirmation what we need to do. Um, it looks a little bit pathetic on there really, doesn't it? I need to get myself a, a sort of metre and a half, two metre one, um, which we will do in due course. So now we're going to move on, we're going to carry on cutting up uh, the rest of the joists and uh, once we've got them done I need to clear out the opposite side of the room so we can then drop this central central um, beam down and start to uh, start putting more beams in so on that note that's what we'll do Right, that's got these joists cut and moved, all stacked about here. Um, a bit painful, but uh, it's done. Once I get it done today, it's quite late now, about half past seven, something like that. Um, we've got them done, so tomorrow, get inside, um, clear out the cupboard and the chest. Need to take the stairs down as well, because I need to lift the floorboards um, underneath the stairs. Um, because they're still in this main room. We'll take them down carefully, put them to one side and we'll consider you know what we're gonna do uh, you know uh, in due course really. So tomorrow we'll, um, we'll clear that room and uh, you know see how far we get.
Right, so time's come to take these stairs down. Um, I've just had a quick walk up and down them <laughs> um, for uh, a nostalgia's sake. Yeah, I just kind of thought well, it might be the last time I actually walk up them. Uh, we're not sure whether we'll put them back in yet. Um, remains to be seen, but we'll um, we'll take them down carefully so it gives us the option down the line. Um, bit of a funny feeling, really. You know, kind of we're trying to keep as much of the original building as possible. Um, don't really want to take them down, to be fair. But we might have to. They're going to have to come down now, anyway, um, to get the you know continue on with the floor. We'll get the floor down. Um, I'm sure we'll find a spot for them. I hope we do because they need to. They need to stay here, you know. Even just as a as a decorative piece, um, you know, like some escalating shelves or something. Missing. Becky's in the loft with Anushka, <coughs> who's got herself up there, can't get down. Hey, have we got stuck, Nush? Come on. Why have you come up? Hmm? Come on, Probably followed Alfie up playing. Uh, Alfie can get himself up and down. Here he goes. There you go, no problem. Hey, should Nush your hands done then? Go on then, do it, Come on, mate. Come on, come on, come on, come on then. Good boy, see? Come on then, come on. It's like this line, we don't want to cross this line. Okay. Right. This way? So, I'll begin the rescue mission. <laughs> Wait, you're... Wait, you're... Right, then. 